As a first step, we need to install the breakout firmata on the Arduino board. Breakout firmata is a program that allows a client application on a computer to communicate with the Arduino. To install the breakout firmata on the Arduino, we need to install the Arduino IDE. We download the IDE from the official Arduino website. Run the download, agree with the terms, click Next and install. When the installation is done, we need to also install the drivers. Now click Install to all the drivers. Now the IDE is installed and we can open the breakout firmata sketch that we downloaded along with the Arduino plugin for Construct. If not already done, please plug your Arduino board to your computer. As breakout firmata use functionality from configurable firmata, we need to include this library. This is done from the sketch menu where we select Manage Libraries and search for configurable formata. Click Install it when it is found. Now we double click on the breakout formata sketch. Before uploading, we need to ensure that the right board is selected and that we have chosen a COM port. This is all done from the Tools menu. And when this is done, we can finally upload the sketch to the board. Next step is to start the breakout server. However, if Java is not already installed, we need to do this before the server can run. Go to java.com and download and install the free download. When Java is installed, the breakout server can be started and we can click connect to establish a connection from the computer to the Arduino board. If needed, please accept to give access to the breakout server in the firewall. We are now ready to start a project in Construct. You can both use Construct 2 and 3, but here we'll show you how to get started in Construct 3. Click on New Project and give the project a simple name. Then go to the menu and start the Add-on Manager from the View sub-menu. In the View sub-menu, click Install New Add-on and select the Construct 3 add-on file that was downloaded with the plugin files. In order to get the plugin properly loaded to your project, you now have to restart Construct 3. After the restart, everything is ready for your development in Construct 3. Here we move forward with a simple project that simply turns on and off the built-in LED on pin 13 on our Arduino board. First, right-click on the layout view and insert the Arduino plugin. Place it somewhere outside the layout with a lift click. Again, right click or double click on the layout and then insert two buttons. One for on and one for off. Give the buttons some proper names and texts. Now, click on the event sheet and click Add Event. Here, find the Arduino board and add the event on board ready. Under this event, add the Enable Digital Pin action. Then insert the right pin number and set the mode to Digital Out. Next, add a new event and select the condition on clicked for button on. Under this event, add the action set digital pen from the Arduino object. Again, set the right pen number and set the value to 1 
as one indicates that the pin is switched to high. Repeat the last step and add an OFF event that sets the value to zero for the selected pin number 13. Run the project and enjoy that you can now control the LED on your Arduino board from Construct 3.